And here we are back at Richmond Crescent. We're only uh, probably seconds away from the start of the game. First quarter brought to you by Victory Trophies. Uh, we see the guys coming to the bench now. Scotty Ferguson making his way to the bench for the uh, east side as well as uh, Gordon Collins. They're two of the uh, suburb fellas. I see Mick Howard's gone to the bench for the Cryo side. As we uh, watch them line up, uh, I think they've lined up pretty well as, as named in the paper other than... Uh, than Adam Sheridan, who's who has actually gone down to a forward pocket. So umpires now taking their place. McMaster and O'Keefe will have the uh, What's the first ball up from the dark-haired fellow, and that's uh, Damien McMaster. The other fellow over here on our uh, on our left lorry is uh, in the blonde blonde hair is Casey O'Keefe from Warnable. I hope they do a good job. I'm sure they will. Okay, umpire holds the ball in the air. Up they go. No clear knockaway. Yes, it is there, and it's uh, well knocked away by Eastern Suburbs. Inthavong picks the ball up. Can't get it clear, but it goes out to where Peters tries to knock it forward. He can't get control of the ball. Collins turns onto the left, picks it back to where Camarado tries, tries to take possession. He can't do so. Chasing the ball down is Gemmel, looking for the boundary line, and uh, pushed over the boundary line there by Sean Rundle for the uh, the Eagles. On uh, Carrillo's half-forward flank, about uh, 50 or 60 metres around from the goal square. Which is the eastern end of the ground. Thank you very much. Ball thrown in. Makes space again. Salta de Marchi pushes the ball to Intervong. Can't get clear. Gets wrapped up in the tackle. Ball comes into a pack situation. Irving pushes it through. Can't get it. I think that's Keating tries to get the ball out. He can't get it clear either. And the ball's pushed over by way of uh, Alford. And uh, bounces over the line. On centre wing, right in front of our commentary box, Laurie. Yes, Peter, and there's a little bit of muscle being flexed around here at the moment, and the ball is thrown in, so it's a good throw in as well. Salter mark here, right up force it, push to the ground. Scrimmage, and the umpire's going to ch chest the, what's that mean? Ball up, I guess, does it? It's going to bounce the ball, or throw the ball up, I should say. On the wing, club side, side of the ground, a decent suburbs. Up it goes, Salter mark here, flew early, did that a lot last week. Pushes the ball out. That's good play. Out the interval, running onto the ball hard up to the Ooh. half forward line. It, they're really putting their bodies on the line here at the moment. And the ball is cleared there by Collins from the cryer side and it kicks the ball long. And that's a long, great kick into the forward line. And it's picked up there on the forward line by number four. I just can't catch up that. It's Smith. Paul Smith it is. And, and it's just offline, I no, think. No, straight it's a, through. Sorry. Good on you, Noel. Thank you very much. And that's a major. And that's a very, very good goal, Peter. Uh, and they move that ball nicely through the centre of the ground. Top well, work. Well, it's interesting. I, I think with the, the guy in the centre of the ground, he's their motivator in Collins. Smith also was uh, was in the interleague squad uh, initially. He missed out. I think he was down to the last Thursday night with selection. So they, they do have some good players. Uh, you, you throw uh, on Turk in there across the half-back line, and they're, they're pretty strong. Yep. Back now with uh, umpire O'Keefe. Throws it in the ball. Salter de Marquis gets the knockdown, but only as far as Collins. Collins trying to break away. Can't do so. Gets a quick hands away. Ball pushed out to where da Davy Peters takes an easy, uncontested mark. Looking downfield. Not much movement. Decides just to go long down the wing. Really into no man's land. And... Uh, all he's really done is pick up about 40 to 45 metres and uh, push the ball down the boundary line. That's and a little bit Omar, wasteful then. It was a bit wasteful. He, he had a look around. I think there was a lead, but uh, really it wasn't quite there. Rucks go up again. Ryder and Saltamarkia. No no clear possession again. Camarotto tries to get chip in in front of Collins, but a little bit of leg speed sees him there first and pushes the ball over again. 60 metres around. Eastern Suburbs forward line. Thrown in. Keating goes up in the ruck this time for the Carrillo side, but uh, I think he's got Sean Brown for, for holding, and the ball has gone back to Ryder, it might be, for the Carrillo side. Kicks very quickly into the centre of the ground. And a mark taken by the Carrillo side. They play on very quickly, pushing the ball down into their attacking zone. Big pack of players go up. No clear possession again. Ball goes out. Looking for uh, the quick running there of uh, Buckingham. He can't get control of it though, but Collins does. It comes out no, and he's, he's turned onto the left and kicked a great goal. Jamie Collins for Carroyo. Number two. 
That's well, what a combination, Collins and Collins and Smith. You can see, you know, this could be a bit of a problem. You, you, you go back and have a look at uh, um, the banana man, Paul Camarotto. He's, he's in the centre of the ground, and Collins was 60, 70 metres from him. And uh, Yes, that's going to be a worry, Peter. Uh, uh, Paul Camarotto has to go with him, and, and I notice he's, he's searching far and wide for his kicks, which is an uh, indication of pretty good play to me in the centre. The guy is prepared to chase the footy, and he's a good finisher as well, and that's important. Well, I think I think the difference is he, he's only 22, 23. He's got a lot, plenty of back in the centre of the ground again. There's a throw up. Salter Marker he gets a long leap of that ball. Handballs out. The Camarotta runs on it quickly. Handballs out. To, it's umpires decide as a too high. Too high. He'll come back now. He, he'll kick this ball well. It's interesting to see what Sheridan does here. He kicked the ball long. Goes into the forward line. It's inside 50. Pack forms. Good mark, That's a broad, Just dropped through his fingers. And the cryer player hands out with a handball, good handball too, exactly. And the Easter Long player runs on the ball, screws it over his shoulder. And what have we got here? We've got a nice mark by Sean O'Leary, I think it is. Is it right, Peter? Yep. Can't quite see around the corner. Sean, just about kicked this. You I should think. be able to tell by Bill's like. Yes, that's right. He's a little bit different build to his brother, though. Sean. I'm I'll, talking his dad. I'll call you through this. He's taught, <laughs> taught his step, father. Straight at the ball. Oh, great. Wobbly kick off the boot. It's not going to quite get the distance. Forms in the goal square and it's rushed through for a point to the suburbs. And they're one point, trailing at Cryo two straight goals, 12 behinds. Cryo looking to bring the ball back into play through King. Uh, no real lead given, but uh, decides just to plant it down, the, down into a pack situation. Um, Gundry there tries to, to get a mark, can't do so, but uh, putting his body in front gets a free kick. A lead given further upfield on the wing by uh, Bingham. That's uh, the younger of the Binghams, Davy Bingham, 16-year-old, can't take possession and uh, good defence there from the eastern suburb side in uh, Williams and pushes the ball over and will have a throw in. So the ball's thrown in now. Peters, well done, sharks off the front of the pack and uh, kicks quickly down towards a uh, leading O'Leary, straight onto the chest. A great, great pass by David oh, Peters. Top stuff. He, re he read that off the pack beautifully. He did a lovely kick, and uh, he's probably kicking from about the same position, Peter, and uh, maybe five yards closer, probably kick this on me. Go going on last time might be a bit far for him. Uh, he's dropped the boot. It's going to land in the goal square. The players rush on the suburbs player. and Singleton, I think. On the wrong Sitter. side of the sticks for a point. Hey, Laurie, you would have kicked that with either foot then. You that think? wasn't a hard goal. You're a bit, you're a bit tough, I think, Noel. Nah, he was under no pressure. He was inside the 10-yard square. <laughs> He's only a boy, though, young Singleton. Comes out of the under-18s. Ball by King, back into play again to a pack. No clear possession again, but Peters toes it in front of him off the ground. O'Leary leading for the race of the ball but can't get possession and it's pushed over the line and out of bounds deep in the uh, eastern suburbs attacking zone right in the left hand forward pocket. Umpire O'Keefe with control. Ball thrown in. Big pack forms again but just a big punch away there and a good handball there by uh, Lazaric, Ricky Lazaric and um, pushed the ball forward but only in the hands of Salter Demarchia who uh, handballs off to Gemmel. Gemmel Cross centres the ball. Uh, big punched away, but uh, only be picked up by Carrillo through Calvin Keating. Keating looking further downfield, but a pretty poorly uh, weighted kick there, and it's been marked well uh, by Kelvin Gray, one of the better defenders for the Eastern Suburbs side. He uh, transfers play across to Sultan Demarchia. In turn, turns inside looking for Inthavong, but uh, can't find him. Handball again, pushing forward from Carrillo to Collins. Collins looking for Smith, and... Uh, can't quite get control of the ball. Should have uh, had a real run at it there, but well spoiled by Andrew Hill. Hill taking possession of the ball. Looks for the uh, the favour of the boundary line on the far side and picks up about 40 or 50 metres and it's over the boundary and out of bounds on the uh, central far wing. Scores at the moment. Carrillo, two goals, 12, leading Eastern Suburbs, two points. The ball's been thrown in, comes back through the centre of the ground again to Collins. Collins turns onto the left, looking for oh, one of the younger brigade, Bigham. and that's Davy Bigham, the young 16-year-old. Plays on very quickly, sees uh, Smith in the uh, goal square. No, it's not actually, it's uh, Danny Ruck. Ruck can't quite get control of it, does so now. Handballs the ball oh, back, and uh, the baker, the baker. 
and I think he's missed <laughs> it, Peter. The boys missed it all. I think that was great play then by Danny Ruck, <laughs> and I think he will he will remind he will remind Baker of uh, of that uh, kick. Well, into I would have had to have played with you, Peter, because you would have reminded your teammates, wouldn't you? <laughs> Too right, I would have. <laughs> that was a shocker. For the people out there listening, he, the guy was in the ten yard square. Oh, not that I'm, try, I'm not trying to put him down. You're a bit hard on him. He's only a boy. <laughs> I think John Stefanowski with the football now, at full back, looking for a lead. Not too many forthcoming at the moment. There it's a long kick out to the half back flank. It's a strong mark there taken by uh, number 22. And, uh, he dropped it. Who was Daisy Williams, ex Newcomb player. Pushes the ball across the boundary line and will have a throw in. Boundary umpire to swoop on the ball now. It's a bit of a chuckle here because uh, Danny Ruck is still walking around shaking his head. In, the, in comes the ball, thrown up. Nice throw in as well for the young boy. Pushes the fall, out the goes to uh, Daisy Williams, over to Danny Peters. Peters onto the ball, good little player this guy. Out to Intervog, nice handball. Moves the ball quickly up the forward line. Brandeth can't grab the ball, goes to ground. Cry defence is standing firm. Little kick out, pushed out by... Oh, uh, Right, right, uh, Ryder tries to get the ball there, can't get it. There's a free kick being played to Cryer, and it'll probably be 50 metres as well. It's to the coach, isn't it? Boom, boom. Good call Leader there. Of the band. Good call there, Dave McDamara. What's that? How's that song go, Walks? Dave, Dave, Dave McDamara looks, looks of for the someone the of the band. There it goes. We're looking for Collins, I think. Great little player, this Darren McDamara. Sorry, right. He knows who I mean. Here come looking for you. Here comes Scott <laughs> Collins. Good little He's player. Good player this. Actually, He's a good player, yeah. this bloke, Peter. Yeah, it's a lovely kick off the boot, too. Boy, Paul. don't tell me he's kicked this. Paul that's Baker's a... made up for the uh, the last little that... indiscretion. Yeah. and uh, That's yeah. a great, great you get kick. Back at, him, cook, at that, <laughs> back at him, Peter. That's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great goal. And they look the goods, don't they? The they do. Looking, they uh, do. And I tipped them, didn't I? Oh, settle down. Don't you jump on the bandwagon just yet, fella. The first time uh, I've seen uh, this year, pick. very, very impressive. Uh, I didn't pick anyone. I'm like jo Jason Doherty. I just said... <laughs> Wait till the middle. last quarter. Uh, no, I said there before there was no wind assistance, but some reason or other this uh, end seems to be the scoring end always at suburbs. Well, I reckon it's the scoring end this quarter because the better side of scoring. I reckon it's it. blowing a gale out there. Umpire Oku throws the ball <laughs> in the air. Solda de Marchia gets a clear possession down to Inthavong. Inthavong can't quite get it out. Keating paddles it forward to Collins. Collins onto the left, punches it down, but only uh, towards Sean Rundle. Rundle looking for the uh, sideline, which he has found through uh, a little bit of help there from Andrew Hill. And it's over the uh, boundary line, 25 metres to 30 metres out, well into Coria Devil's attacking zone. Peter, I need a big hoik in there. Up goes Salter Demarkia again, and Ruck tries again Salter Demarkia, but only as far as Keating. Keating can't get possession. Inthavong can, but only uh, belts it out over the scoreboard side of the ground, which shows the scoreboard at the moment. Uh, the Corio side, three goals, 1-19 to Eastern Suburbs, two points. Corio oh. bring the ball into play very quickly and transfer the uh, the ball across, but only as far as Camarotto. Camarotto plays on quickly through hands to Sheehan. Sheehan driving the ball forward, but only finds McNamara. McNamara quickly transfers play again for the Corio side and uh, finds young Matt Ryder on the central wing area. He, with an awkward kicking style, looks to punch the ball down, but a great mark to three guys up, two Corio and one Eastern Suburbs, and Solda de Marchio has taken the mark. He uh, takes a lead from... Al Alfred, I think it was, Peter. Alfred, was it? Yes. Ooh, Ooh. that's a bit ordinary. I mean, the way he played at the ball, like, uh, it really had the option there to mark the ball and uh, chose to try and punch it and missed everything. And the ball has uh, gone over over the boundary line in front of the big shed sign about uh, 10 metres around from the Corio goals. Punch down from Stefanoski. No clear possession again, but uh, Sean Rundle picks the loose ball up. Kicks it out where the Baker boy again turns. Yeah. Turns onto the left quickly. Pushes the ball down, but... Uh, Peters for the Shorty Peters for the Eastern Suburb side chips in and says, "Well, I'll take control here. Can't do that much with it." Uh, clear mark there to the Corio side, and uh, Ricky Lazarus gives a lead in the centre of the ground, pushes it across to where uh, Smith tries oh, to get the ball. Can't do so, but uh, 
great little pass across there to the number 24 in the Carrillo side, and that's uh, Mick Borman. Borman has a big ping shot at goal, but uh, falls short, and uh, right on the last line of defence, the ball has been marked by the Eastern Suburbs side. Quickly brought back into play, looking for Inthavon, can't find him. Handball off the uh, off the deck through uh, Irving, Danny Irving, and uh, it's only been pushed over the boundary line and out of bounds. Boundary umpire's got the ball now, and you know what? You he know throws what the got... ball in this guy. You know, only well. got one pie. Throws the ball. Have it, that will share it. <laughs> Soldamaki infringement. There was that. Might have been a shepherd in the ruck. Yep. That it yes, is. Oh, he's, not, it, he's not happy about it, but. Um, I wasn't yeah. concentrating now because I was. I was you were trying to get you a half of the pie. Oh, I think unbelievable. It was, I think it was probably there. He, he's not too happy, but uh, Darren Danny Ruck's going to have a shot for goal. He, would he be right on the fifty? Bread and butter stuff. Right look. behind us. He's walking nice and straight. A bit wobbly off the boot. And went straight as a die. And, and it went nice and straight, but straight through the points. It was actually um, straight where he aimed, I think, Laurie. <laughs> that's right. So uh, that makes the scoreboard three one nineteen. To Cryo, and the side trailing is uh, Eastern Suburbs two points. The ball's kick out to Intervog. Little chip kick. This is not really what the Suburbs have got to do. I think that player there is looking to Gemmel. sum up Chris Gemmel. Gemmel. Up he comes, kicks the ball up. Set themselves here. Two Eastern Suburbs players spoil one another. Ball goes to the ground. There's a scrimmage. Player stacks on the mill. Pushed out. Ooh, I think well last night Keating. on tally that might have been out of bounds on the limit, but, but no, he didn't. Calvin they paying well done. Last night, though, Louis. They weren't paying that to uh, Port Power on the finish. Young Pye again, he's getting plenty of work, this young boy on the boundary. He comes, throws it in. High, the Ruckman set themselves. Body on Bonnie. Saltamarkia taps the ball out. Beautiful handball there to Camarotto. They go forward into the side 50. And that's good mark. Now he just spilled at the last moment. It's dropped to the ground. The Cryo players working very well on defensive zone there out there. And as Danny Ruck gets the ball on the wing, kicks the ball long. And I like about Cryo, they kick the ball long. Up they go, the Eastern Suburbs flies, hits the ground. There's a stack of players. Umpire calls play on. And the ball's pushed out, out towards the ring. Camerato dives on it, into Vogue again onto it. Good little player, this guy. Kicks the ball long and high and it goes out and I think Brandon should mark this ball if not a free kick and I think now he's played advantage there the ball's kicked in where's Sean O'Leary has taken the mark deep in the forward pocket that on was a very acute angle that was interesting because when I saw um, Adam Sheridan warming up out here at prior to the game everything he was kicking was on the left left foot and, and he actually <coughs> measured off a 40 metre pass there on the right foot uh, O'Leary, he probably knew he was too far out, and um, you know how how a side can let someone like Adam Sheridan just drift into the forward line inside the 50. This will, this will certainly test the this leg. Will, this will test the leg, and this will be a good skipper's goal if he can uh, thread this one through. So O'Leary palming it off to Sheridan, probably 40 metres out, uh, remembering they're kicking into a bit of a breeze, I believe. Uh, well, there you go. That answers your question. He's actually kicked it on the left. Ferguson, who's come onto the ground, tries to take the control of the ball. Can't do so. Ball comes clear out through uh, Danny Irving. But, uh, no, it's Shorty Peters, actually. And uh, the ball gets pushed forward even further by Bo Mick Borman for the Correa side. Ball comes out again. Correa trying to get the control through David Vallis. But uh, can't do so. And the ball's pushed over the, the boundary line. Well done there by uh, Gemmel from uh, the Eastern Suburb side. And we'll have a throw in right here in front <coughs> of us. A fit Adam Sheridan would have done that easy. Yeah, yeah. Kick with the wrong foot. The ball goes up. Uh, Ruck and Saldamarkia go for the ball. Can't do so. Irving leads in the pack, in, in front of the pack. But uh, Collins chips in and only to see the ball over. Push back over. Central wing again in, in between the two uh, interchange boxes here at Richmond Crescent. I've noticed, Peter, the last 10 minutes, uh, Camerado's got a little bit closer to Collins, which is probably, probably a good thing. It probably has to do that, yes. Ball thrown in. Two big fellas, Ryder and Saldamarkia, go again. Saldamarkia gets front possession, takes uh, takes it out of, this, out of the air, but uh, only to see him push the ball down to Jimmy Onturk. Uh, 50. A good mark there, and uh, I think uh, the umpire O'Keefe from uh, Warnable gestured to Sean Brenniff to come back off the mark. He didn't do so, so he's um, going to sell a little bit of land to him. Not much land, actually. It's probably only about a 30-35-metre 30 30 penalty. Jimmy Onturk 
Long kick down straight into the forward line. No clear possession again. Rundle tries to get it out. Can't do so. Hill picks it up. Quick handball over to Buckingham. There has been a free, but he's called play on. Buckingham looking out wide for uh, no one in particular out there. The Troy Sheehan leads for the ball. Gets to chip it, chip it back into the centre of the ground. Uh, Shelley tries to butter up for the Carrillo side. Quick handball inside to Bennett. Bennett gets flattened and uh, he'll take a free kick. A little bit of indiscretion there. Maybe a bit late. And uh, Darren Bennett, the uh, the no, kicker for the... Uh... Ex-Melbourne footballer. It's, it's a lovely kick too. McNamara, the coach, sits under the ball, runs away. He had plenty of room there. Could have run another 10, 15 metres. And it's probably turned out to be a poor option there. And uh, San Eastern Diego Sub charges, no? Eastern Suburbs <laughs> player there in Gamma has taken a nice mark. It. Kicks the ball out to Solder Mark here. Puts his hands up. If it's not a mark, it's certainly a free kick, which umpire awards. Nice handball. He's going to handball the Peterson. You shouldn't preempt Laurie. Okay, Braniff takes a nice mark. Ex Newcomb player as well. He's about to kick this ball inside 50. And it's a scrubber. Very ordinary kick. It goes inside forward. Adam Sheridan fights hard for it. Doesn't get anything out of it. There's a great mark there. Collins. Has to be played by Collins. Very, very impressed with this young Collins. He'll do something with the ball. He's kicked the ball out there looking for Bigham, who is, looks another like a like Colt. This guy's valleys, two bounces. Oh, kicked it where he was running. He kind yeah. of ran off to the side. And I think he got a rush of blood, Peter. And, and, and uh, I reckon he got a favour from the goal umpire. Yeah. He's, uh, he's got too. himself a point. Yeah. Look, you know, I don't want to be too it's critical. It's about the 23-minute mark, too, I know, boys. I know they're only young boys, but they're the sort of things, if you're going to be a good footballer, you've got to steady and make sure you uh, make a better uh, fist of those things, I think. I'm sounding like a coach now. I'm too critical. <laughs> At the 23 and a half minute mark of the first quarter here at Richmond Crescent. The score at the moment, Carayo 3-3, leading Eastern Suburbs two points. Hill looking to bring the ball back into play. Not much movement at all. Uh, there is now through Salta de Marchia. Shorty Peters behind him, but uh, good position of the body there. And uh, Anthony Salta de Marchia takes a, a good grab. Looking downfield, Bran Branoff. Uh, good lead, probably uh, extended himself fairly well and uh, been given the uh, mark. And a, and a good kick there from Solid Amagia. Fairly big boy and so is Brunoff and uh, I thought he led very, very well. Things have slowed down a little bit here and, uh, you know, I, I think Eastern Suburbs have found it difficult to crack uh, crack the defence of the Carrillo side. And there's another perfect example. When uh, Nathan Murray come onto the ground, uh, tried to get a quick possession, couldn't do so. Ferguson over the top of the ball and it's just been wrapped up again by the uh, coach of the Carrier side in Darren McNamara. Well played. Umpire O'Keefe throws the ball in the air. Solder de Marchio tries to take it out of the air and uh, turn onto the right foot. Lucky he didn't get pinged for uh, caught with the ball but uh, not the way the umpire sees it. Buckingham pushes the ball forward. Again through Irving pushes it and Sheehan to uh, up towards Ferguson. Ferguson tries to get a possession and can't do so. King comes clear for the Carrillo side. Pushed off the ball. Then uh, Carrillo take possession there and uh, through Lazarich with a handball to Collins. Looking down for Smith. Can't get possession and... Uh, he, kept, he kept at him, didn't he, Andy, Peter? He, he did and Andy Hill kind of uh, was a bit unfortunate there in that they were both falling forward and he's fallen into his back and uh, given a free kick away to, to Smith who in turn has uh, pushed the ball over and uh, with a very quick quick foot pass to Alan Alford. And uh, he's, he's found Alan Alford uh, pretty well straight in front of goal. I'd say 40, he'll kick from close to 50 metres out. Can he kick that far? I think he can. I think this will be a handy goal, Peter, if they can kick this one. Well, uh, we're, we're probably right on the 25 minute right. mark. There it's won't be much time. Alford on. moves in now, lines them up. It looks a good kick off the boot. It's not gonna quite make the difference. The pack forms. Scrimmage in the goal square, umpire waves, play on. Now he's going to chest it and ball the ball up and right in the middle of the goal square. Now, I've just worked out after all these years why they don't have female umpires, and, Peter. And the scores are two points, two <laughs> behinds to Eastern <laughs> Suburbs. To Laurie's three, two, to 20, 21 to uh, cry on the victory trophy oh, scoreboard. He snapped it up. Oh, he's, he's hit the woodwork. Was that your young fella again, mate? Number one, wasn't it? Ruck, was it? Danny Ruck? Screwing the ball around. Uh, and, 19. Uh, was 19. Davy Bigham, young fella, 16 years of age. Ball brought back in by Stefanoski, looking for Hill and finds him uh, 
with a little short pass into the uh, back pocket area. Hill looking to drive the ball long on the scoreboard side, looking for Buckingham and uh, finds him. No, not paid there by uh, by the umpire. Ball comes out again to Stefanoski. He chips it in through Inthavong, I think it is. No, it's not. Inthavong looking for the ball, and it's off uh, it's off Danny Irving actually, but. Uh, a different option there and looks to go across the across the ground towards Troy Sheehan. Sheehan plays on through Williams, looking for Scotty Ferguson who's leading up the ground. Good chess mark. Now the Eastern Suburbs boys are starting to move the ball a bit better. Ferguson looks to centre it into the ground but only to go to ground where Collins looks to take possession. He can't do so but he can paddle it out and paddle out he does to Jimmy Onturk. Onturk oh, looks mate. to play on through Ruck, finds Ruck clear on the wing. Playing on very quickly down towards where Smith leads for the ball and only to be beaten to the boundary line and it's over for a throw in on the scoreboard about the 26, 26 and a half minute mark and we see uh, Karaya at the moment leading Eastern Suburbs three goals for 22 to two points and that's on the Victory Trophies scoreboard. Ball thrown in now only to a... Uh, a big bunch of players and uh, Andrew Hill on top of those. I think he took two or three guys down with him as he was uh, trying to get control of the ball. Ball thrown up again. Oh, a bit of an indiscretion there, but not paid. I but yes, it, it is a bit is, later. Peter. Yes. Can't do that. It was yep. a bit later. And that was uh, from Solda to Mark here. Maybe getting a little bit frustrated. Uh, I think that's the way he plays a little bit, though. He likes to go just well, that fraction early and uh, well, he's he a pays a penalty sometimes, of course. There's a lovely click from the cry player into the forward line. Off fly, off hands. Houston Suburbs play, kicks goal, kicks it just towards the boundary. There's a race for it. And the ball is picked up by number 14 in his Baker. Baker, Baker pushes the ball out to Keating. Ooh, there's a Keating look for a free kick. That was a good oh. old fashioned football looking for free kicks. Boot the ball. Yeah, and good decision there. There's a, there's a real aid free kick, I think. No, no, no it's out of bounds. He ran out of bounds. And that was the bloke from Warnable too that picked that, Pete. I didn't think they were that good down there. Actually, no. actually, the ump umpiring is very, very good. It is. <coughs> oh, what are you trying to make up for Eric Lark? <laughs> have a week here, it's too. A throw in from the umpire, boundary umpire. Up it goes. <laughs> Ruckman, <laughs> body, yes, body, solid. America just hands the ball out to Summers player. Beautiful tackle by Camerado, and it's got to be holding the ball. Why? Tough. tough. Why was it holding the ball? Because he, he had plenty of opportunity to get rid of the ball. He was getting rid of it as he got caught. That's Relays not holding the ball. ball. Stefanowski. Stefanowski kicks the ball up towards the centre of the ground, and it's a great mark out there by, I think it's number... Singleton, it is. Singleton, thanks, Daniel Peter. Singleton. Singleton kicks the ball over. Oh, dropped out there by uh, Eastern Suburbs player, and uh, um, who was that? was well played by Alford, who pushes the ball was. forward. Their defence is very good out there, Peter, uh, uh, Cryo, and... Um, to sort of set themselves up in this quarter. And a scrimmage, umpire runs in and there'll be a bounce up a little bit too far out for me to see, so you better take over. <laughs> OK, it's umpire O'Keefe throws the ball in the air. Salta de Marquia and Ryder try for the ball. No clear push down, but Stefanoski does get control of it, pushes it down into the forward line. Sure. Using uh, brains, weight and age and experience, Adam Sheridan oh. takes the ball and hooks it into the goal square. It's a relay 50 where. Where... Uh, I was getting to that. <laughs> You're a bit quick for me, Laurie. Yep. Um, you see Sheridan being knocked to the ground, and uh, the free kick has been paid down the ground, and it's to Scotty Ferguson. Was a free kick there? Or was it professional yes, free kick? It was a free kick. Okay. Umpires don't make mistakes. Was that right? Was that, is right? that, is that right, Eric? Actually, we're well into this quarter now. We're probably at the uh, 27, 28 minute mark of this quarter, and uh, this will be. Eastern Suburbs' first goal, if they can get it, and I think he has popped it through for Eastern Suburbs' first goal, and a good goal to Scotty Ferguson from a, a replayed, relayed free kick from Adam Sheridan. I shouldn't have slung off at Scotty earlier about his uh, his size. He moved very, very well to pick up a relayed free kick it, five metres He out. certainly did. Oh, he's done a, a couple of good things I've noticed there. It looked like, he's, as you said, he's been in too many pies, but uh, yeah, some of those guys... You just keep your hands off my pies. Look, look, I wish you would eat it. That's a Beaumont's too, mate. I, I'd have some too, but you know why I can't? Yeah, I'll bite your hand off if you, you don't. I've you... got my hands full with the camera. Right, we're back in the centre of the ground now. <coughs> Umpire Casey O'Keefe 
joined us from Warnable today for the uh, match of the round. He could get all the way radio. down from Warnable and someone couldn't come down from Bell Post Hill. Well, why not? <laughs> it's a good experience for him. The ball goes to the ground in Thavong. Tries oh, to get oh, it. Can't oh, do so. Well, well <coughs> smothered by Calvin Keating, who on turn looks out towards. Oh, that was a bit. That was a bit uh, strong on uh, Davy Bigham there, but can't get control. He does so now, looking for a lead down from uh, Baker. Can't get oh. it off Baker. Baker gets high, but can't get control of the ball. Ruck knocked to the ground. So Smith and uh, only see the Eastern Suburbs boys push it over the boundary line, and we'll have a throw in. Right it deep again in the Corio half forward to forward pocket line. And Paul Smith flew high then, Peter, for the ball. You know he, he did. grabbed it too, actually. He did. Ball's been thrown in. Saldamarkia and Ryder try for the ball. Can't get a clear possession again. Only to see the ball come out to where Gundry tries to get possession. Can't do so. And uh, there goes the siren uh, right on... Uh, the, about the 30 minute mark, I think that was quite a long quarter and uh, the final scores in the Victory Trophy scoreboard sees for this quarter, Carayo leading Eastern Suburbs, three goals for 22 to Eastern Suburbs, one two, eight. Well, Laurie, what did you think of the quarter so far? Well, I th I'm very, very impressed with the way Carayo played and uh, if we do believe they've got a, a bit of a wind advantage, I mean, I've, I've got to give uh, credit to suburbs. They did fire back in that last two minutes. That quarter looked OK. Uh, impressed with the way they moved the ball forward, Cryer. They, they seem to kick the ball longer. Uh, Darren McNamara, I've been impressed with him as a coach over the last few years. I think he's instilled a little bit of discipline and such into the into Cryer. Uh, and uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens this quarter. Um, uh, suburbs have got to get 